огненный ветер. Летит и как мираж. То ли видно, то ли нет. У вас огненная земля. Все в огне. И как вот сейчас посмотри вокруг везде, даже вечером огонь в небоскребах. И the butterfly is a very moving and dynamic uh, creature. It's very colorful and it's beautiful. And at times it's a fragile. Other side there is a woman that's uh, symbolizing the Baku city with that woman. In one place you see one uh, skeleton. So the Baku people used to believe that if you buried that uh, dead body inside a vase, so it goes directly to heaven. This is a story. We, in this market, uh, you can see this uh, virgin love in this butterfly. Yeah. But is the love is the problem. Naden Tawa, third international art festival, greeted Baku residents and its guests this year too. Initiated by Haidar Ali Foundation and organized by Administration of State Historical Architectural Reserve, Ichari Shahar, Maiden Tower Art Gallery and Modern Arts Museum, this festival fascinated Baku again. Artists representing 24 countries demonstrated their vision of ancient Maiden Tower and one of the pearls of Eastern legends, gazelles, on the sculptures. The latter brought new spirit to this year's festival. Focus was on the Caucasian Big Five, defined in the frame of idea ecological campaign as endangered species. Gazel sculptures were presented to the artists on behalf of festival organizers as a symbol of endangered animals. These animals became rare pearls of nature, especially their amazing eyes. On a good head of two, head of the Rangos Nabahman Branda, Bear Number. French Daphne Bichach tries to keep Eastern legend beauty for the future generations reviving ancient Egyptian methods. These ancient methods are her single hope. She points out that human beings wear masks while trying to undermine the important things. The gazelle almost, they are almost all die. So I want to keep the mind with mummification. Their mind, like this maybe, they can come back. It's not mask on the gas on the face of the gazelle, it's mask on us. Because I think we keep a mask about the nature. We, we always think it's not so important. Egyptian motives were also in Giuseppe Spito's work. I, uh, my impression uh, when I, I see a little bit uh, like pyramid, no in, uh, in Egypt, but not for form absolutely, but also have uh, this uh, structure. This, uh, for this motive also I use uh, this. So the Maiden Tower Festival is expanding to other continents beyond Eurasia. There were African and South American representatives among third international festival guests. Congolese Freddy Mutombo thinks that the festivals like Maiden Tower bring different people representing various cultures together. The rencontre for me is very interesting because déjà the fact that to be here and to meet people from presque partout, il vient de plusieurs continents et il n'y a rien d'autre qui m'est venu en ces trois jours pour proposer à mon travail. Brazilian Silvia Pelotto shares the energy that she brought from her country with colleagues. You know, so this is more like uh, the energy that I bring, you know, and like the way I'm feeling, I'm feeling super happy to be here. So it's all about like the vibrancy of Baku and uh, mixed with uh, the energy that I bring into it. Cool architecture. <laughs> Festival organizers did not forget about little residents of Baku, future possible artists. One more tower sculpture was made available for them. Artists with different refined tastes realized Maiden Tower Festival's intention to connect different cultures as well as Firelands Peace and Unity Call. 
Italian Roberto Loro appeals to all the world calling people to peace in the name of gazelles that are going to extinction. There are seven colors because in the flag of the peace have seven colors. That is mythologic and maybe gazelle. And maybe it's a myth to have the peace in all parts of the world. And like answering to this call, Azbajani Rashad al Akhtarov shows sharp turns of the real life compared to Gazel's soft forms. He tries to create a contrast. Administration of State Historical Architectural Reserve Chari Shahar, an idea organization, cooperate on a regular basis to implement various ecological projects. The previous project was dedicated to the small inhabitants of the Maiden Tower, the Swifts. It appears that the Swifts, who all we see in the surroundings of the tower, have been nestling on its facade, in the holes created by strong winds and rainfalls for centuries. These birds come to Baku in the beginning of April and leave for South Africa in July-August with their new generation. Due to conservation and restoration works on the tower and impossibility for Swifts to nestle here, administration together with IDEA Ecological Campaign created the alternative nestling places for them on the opposite building's facet. In spite of the fact that only 250-300 Swifts used to nest on the Maiden Tower, the number of alternative nests doubled within the aim of increasing the new population of Swifts. Some part of the Swifts has already made the alternative nests their homes. With all these, both geography and new creative projects of Maiden Tower Art Festival are expanding, thus enriching the intercultural dialogue.